One percenters, welcome back. Coach Tom here at fourteen twenty four basketball training, where the goal is to take fourteen minutes twenty four seconds, or one percent of your day to get better. In today's video, Nuggets Thunder. Let's go. Look like crap. I'm gonna probably shave my head right after this. Tired of it. Poku. Serbian on Serbian, you guys hold me to look at the uh, 6'10 guy, Jovic. Maybe he's a little bit like Poku. But I remember Poku being um, a little bit more of a playmaking player. Oh my god. He sneaks up on people with his bounce still. Everybody thinks that he's not going to do it, but he, he still does it. Oh, Poku's seven footer. Jovic is 6'10. Bones is back. Look at Boogie with the shoes. Oh! That's like a training session right there, a skills training session. Okay, here we go. Between the legs cross, so like your Tim Hardaway crossover. Okay, and then inverted between the legs, delayed, crossover again. Okay, cross step, same foot stop, single foot replace, side step back, three pointer. So if you're learning the moves, you have to be able to one, to kind of identify them all. You have to be able to communicate what you want. And then you got to be able to obviously replicate it and then execute it. Or you could just be like Bryn Forbes, you know? If, if, if you're a sniper or a scorer like him, you, you touch it, that means your, your gun's loaded. Catch and shoot that sucker. Bones has a little bit of showman in him. This, this little, this little hop skip coming across, like he's about to do a scissor step. <coughs> Jamichael Green with a little flex too. Oh my God, Boogie is just so slow. This is like a guy that's like a runaway train with no brakes. It's like. That's that's as fast as Boogie can go. What what It's kind of tragic. It's it's like watching the 6-year-olds that, that can't stop in in the senior men's division. Sometimes I feel like that, man. Rivers. I'll do that once a game. Who do you guys think is better, Bryn Forbes or Austin Rivers? That's a tough question. Who would you rather have, Bryn Forbes or Austin Rivers? Or who would you want to be? Ooh. As much as I hate Austin Rivers, I think Austin Rivers is slightly better than Bryn Forbes. And I only hate on Austin Rivers just because for whatever stylistic uh, personality. Obviously for no good real reason. Crossbody Euro, smoked the layup. Smoked it. 
Harris. Back come the Thunder. Water is knocking down that three in transition very smooth. Joker spins. Joker. Like the these slower moves, I have a feeling these will get trapped a lot quicker in the in the playoffs. Like right here, you know. Joker spins. Joker. That settles things up a little bit. There you go. So you don't want him to pick up the third one before halftime and, and then have to come to the bench. Will Barton working up the Joker pick. At the I talk about her hinge position a lot. <laughs> Stop playing in a squat position. Like right here, he's hinged over. Waist, waist is leaning, chest is down. Okay, there it is again, right here. Okay, you got to get comfortable in this split with your chest down. Put you in such more of an advantageous position. Throw it, bro. Throw it. Oh my god, it takes forever. <laughs> like, right here, you throw it on Joker's inside shoulder. Like, right there, you just lead him. So, you should trust that he's gonna break and turn over his shoulder and, and see the ball fly over his head. I mean, it still gets there, but it's slow as hell. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Here we go, go again with, with hinging. SGA is super good at this. So as he retreats here, as he goes between and then he drops, like this this angle, right? You see him leaning forward like he's going to fall forward. Like that's the angle that you need to train, and a lot of guys don't know how to get down in, in that angle. And when his teammates aren't scoring it as well as they were in that game around him, he knows he needs to find ways to score um, I've done it in my workout videos with the, you know, the the belt attachment around my waist or the uh, bands around my waist. I think the video is Gun Dorito Banana or something like that. Getting comfortable in a narrow split stance. Come on, something's going to be, you have to be really exciting for me to get excited about. That's an ugly jumper. Baisley. Joker. The Nuggets are like sixth, I think, right now. That is such an ugly jumper. There's, a, there's that hitch. So the wing, the wing um, three is a lot farther than the corner three. So Aaron Gordon's a little bit better at the corner three. So this one is it's just like shooting on the way down. What's the hitch? The big tipper, they call him the big tipper. Because he drops a lot of money at the strip clubs? Or is because he's tipping in these uh, basketballs? That's pretty. I wish he would have left handed dunk that though. <coughs> nice little spin. Right, left. Closed off to the other side. I wish I would have been left hand dunk in a screen. Not very many centers you see doing that. Wow. 
Alexander now with SGA is so smooth. Either leg, either hand. He knows the angles, he can shoot the three. Bang! We got a four point opportunity. Nuggets fans. Here they throw it away. Got him. Alexander. Preachy again. Same spot. V. Nuggets fans. This is very rare. You rarely, rarely, rarely see this out of players. Um. Okay, the left footed plant and I tell my guys or I, I practice it all the time you should practice it if you're kind of developing your game okay that that foot back on that side your your uh, left foot a lot of guys don't practice that everything is is going with the right foot back Alexander. I like SGA a lot it looks like a simple thing but every player is so dominated one side when, when you're trying to be great when you're when you're trying to you know excel at a, at a high level depending on whatever level you're at you have to find little edges everywhere and you have to exploit the edges so when I'm looking at the uh, Jovic I mean he's very versatile and, and NBA players are going to draft on potential but what little area what little area can I select to exploit um, is it going to be footwork? Is it going to be shiftiness? Is it going to be my, you know, athleticism? Is it going to be my shooting? <coughs> right, am I going to be like ultra extraordinary at skill like Kyrie Irving? Am I going to be ultra extraordinary at shooting Steph Curry? Am I going to be ultra extraordinary at uh, length, kind of uh, length and speed Giannis? Um, power and jumping Zion? Um like the the first person that comes to your mind um scoring like like kd um these guys are just unbelievable at, at what they do in their specific area guys that kind of just all do a lot of things very well it's very hard to be a superstar or, or create a really really big name for yourself um joker when i think of him i think of a gigantic big playmaker I don't think of a score. I think of a person with really, really great vision and, and playmaking. Um, but yeah, so in terms of draft prospects or, or yourself, if you're trying to make make way for a team and stuff like that, you have to figure out what role you can exploit, it, whether it's a 3 and D like PJ Tucker. Um, like just be really, really, really good at one thing. It just it doesn't mean that you have to negate all of those other things. It just means you have to be known for at least one one really good thing. There's that there's that same exact move. Austin Rivers does it once a game. Maybe Joker got this from Austin Rivers. A little shimmy. Boom boom. One two. The other day he he was uh, showboating, but now they're down today, so he's not going to do it. <laughs> and and for some reasons, it's always the littlest guys that that like to thump their chest the most. Like Bones probably got to be like 190. A little pound in his chest twice there. I don't know if that means strong or if he's got heart. If he's doing it because he's got heart, I like it. <laughs> uh -oh. So here we go for Denver Nuggets basketball. 
So this is the set, you know, if you're a shooter, you just run this particular shot over and over and over. You get a down screen and you're running out from, from the nail, flashing out to the side, getting a catch from the corner or a pass from the corner, left, right. Like clearly defined roles makes your team so much easier. Like players might not, might not like that, uh, you know. A coach says you're just a shooter. I need you to do this. They they might not like it. They might have ego problems. So like if Joker is a playmaker, <coughs> you need a score, which that would be like Jamal Murray. And then you would need that you know the the sniper, which would be MPJ. And then you need the slasher, which would be uh, Aaron Gordon. Or Jeff Green, and if they're not producing, you just you just get somebody else in that situation that wants to play that role. Bones looks like the secondary score behind uh, Jamal Murray, and uh, in this, and then uh, Bryn Forbes would be like a secondary shooter. Monte Morris probably fall out of the rotation. You, you probably get problems with this team when uh, Barton tries to do a little too much. <coughs> when Barton tries to do too much, Aaron Gordon tries to do too much, and Joker tries to pass too much. Or when he's not assertive enough scoring. Actually, Aaron Gordon... Uh, Probably can thrive more as a defender slasher. OKC's okay, at the bottom, man. That's a bad loss for uh, that's a bad loss for the Nugs. Um, hopefully they get MPJ and Jamal Murray back because um, if they do, they'll be a different team. But uh, if they're not integrated well, some some boys might get their feelings hurt, like. Uh, Will Barton, Bryn Forbes, Austin Rivers might fall out of the rotation. Uh, Bones might get thrown to the back of the bus. Who knows? Um, I don't know, 20 or less, probably less than 20 games until the end of the season. All right, guys, until next time or until next video, I'll probably come back with a shaved head. Take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.